but we have with us uh, Devang Mehta as well as Amrish Palega joins us. Amrish is with us uh, in the studio. Thanks, gentlemen, so much for joining in this afternoon. Devang, let me come to you first. In terms of Century Textiles, we saw that stock flying away. It went racing towards that 800 mark. Now it's 200 rupees off that particular mark, but I'm just comparing it uh, with the early uh, March highs that we saw, and that stock is still 6% higher. Is it a good buying opportunity at around that 590 approximately? Uh, afternoon, Nigel. Uh, uh, no, in fact, uh, at this point, uh, when markets are correcting big time and uh, uh, virtually there is uh, selling all around, and in fact, uh, rather than more selling, it's uh, lack of buying in uh, uh, quality stocks as well as mid-cap and small-cap stocks, uh, uh, I would uh, tend to avoid a volatile stock like... Uh, uh, century textile rather than uh, rather than uh, coming into this stock uh, there are there are a lot many opportunities lying uh, inside of sensex as well as nifty where a lot of constituents have also shown a good bit of correction so uh, at this point we would uh, rather focus more on the uh, nifty or the sensex stocks or the or, or the frontline stocks among the top uh, uh, 70 80 stocks but not get uh, somewhere into uh, the second run stocks all right. Uh, in fact, it's looking very tricky at this point. 8,040 has also broken. So looks like even in the dying moments of trade, there's quite a bit of selling that you're seeing on individual names. Now names like Nagarjan Construction, etc. in the broader markets, 8CC are starting to fall quite a bit. So those stocks are down about 3 to 6 odd percent or so. Amrish Baliga is also with us. Uh, Amrish, looking very difficult this market and right. looks like, uh, you know, in just a matter of time, even 8,000 will be taken out. We're just 30 points away from that. Um, what do you do? You was saying that you know the best thing to do would be to sit on cash yes. but um, nothing no cherry picking at this point uh, see even if one wants to do cherry picking I would say just pick up a very small quantity I mean just to satisfy yourself that you have participated in the market but uh, when we are so close to 8,000 a break below that clearly will lead to some amount of panic mm. I think that's the time you will actually have the fire sale and that should be the time to start buying, not right now. Mm -hmm. It's very much possible that we could uh, take some support at these levels, which we have done in the past, but we could see a bounce back. But that bounce back, again, will not be as strong as what we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. I really don't see, I mean, uh, even if we have a bounce back now, may not really go beyond 8,200, 8,250 levels, and that should be utilized to sell than to buy. So I would still possibly wait for a while longer to see whether it holds there or not, because I really don't see any positive triggers for the market. All right, Amrish, uh, maybe we're close to that bounce back. You just look at the chart. We have HDFC, Reliance Industries, HDFC Bank, all big heavyweights that are dragging the Nifty currently. So in case we're going to be seeing, if you want to play the bounce back, then which one do you think? Which heavyweight would you would you be going in for? HDFC, HDFC Bank, no, what's I, the pick? I would uh, surely look at uh, something in uh, the private sector banks. I think, I uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, they would be the first ones to possibly bounce back. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, HDFC, HDFC Bank, Anderson Bank. I mean, these are the, uh, I mean, the performers out there. So I think these will bounce back uh, much faster than the rest of the pack. Okay, well, uh, just pull up a couple of these banking names. Uh, now there is some more added pressure that you're seeing. And uh, Varinder alerts us that there are s there's some short build-up that's happening on names like Indusin Bank, etc. The open interest over there has gone up by about 16 odd percent. The stock is down more than 3 odd percent. As you can see, there's a sudden knock on that counter. Sudarshan Sukhani also joins in. Um, Sudarshan, you know, this market is still down about 12 odd percent from its record highs of 9100. Uh, in in technical parlance, would this still um, uh, construe as a, a correction in an ongoing bull market or do you think that the texture of this market has now changed? No, it is a correction in, an on, in a very long term bull market but for most people and most traders it doesn't feel like a correction that 12% is a lot and in terms of points it's a lot more and the, and the point why it doesn't feel like a correction is also because the patterns are telling us that lower levels are coming. So it is not as if we are seeing a turnaround. We can say, okay, 12% decline is behind us. Now we have started a rally. Had that been so, it would have felt fine. But unfortunately, that is not the case. So even though it's a long-term bull market, the sense is that it's a mini bear market. All right, then as we speak, in fact, we move to the low point of the day. The volumes as well are picking up. Currently, NSC cash volumes at around the 12,500 crores. When we kicked off the show, we were at only around 10,100 crores approximately. So 25% jump is what we have seen on the NSC volumes. But just take a look at a few stocks. Bosch uh, should come up for you. That sold off. It was sitting with a cut of around 2% as we moved into the final hour of trade. And just take a look at that. Now it's seen a sharp sell-off. Sonia has been warning us that it's a very expensive uh, stock valuation-wise. You pull up Idea as well. Remember, it's been one of the outperformers in the last 
last uh, couple of months, but that one as well is seeing some selling pressure. Devang, let me get uh, you into uh, this one. What's your take on some uh, on a very very expensive stock, something like a Bosch, new entrant? It's a big uh, uh, move towards the 23,000 mark. Now it's corrected substantially, moving to the low point of the day. I think the, the only problem with uh, stocks uh, which are expensive at this point is that uh, uh, all, all your debt stocks or some of the stocks which are, which are in the universe where uh, there is high debt, uh, uh, all those are already punished and, uh, and in fact uh, uh, those names which are not punished have started to get punished. So now uh, uh, to, uh, to save the positions uh, or the margin calls which come for such stocks, uh, a lot of investors, a lot of traders rather uh, would sell into this good stocks or good quality stocks which are uh, so called expensive uh, as as there, are, there is a rare commodity. Uh, so probably this would also bear the brunt as, as it seems to be the uh, last leg of this panic. Uh, so normally uh, your good quality stocks which are, which are so called expensive stocks get punished during this last leg. Uh, so I, I see that phenomenon happening to a lot of such stocks. So is this the last leg of the panic you think Devang and if yes uh, is it the time to be a bit courageous and uh, sort of venture out into individual names and if yes what would you look at? I think yes, uh, it, it needs to be a little bit of uh, a contrarian approach at this point and uh, uh, though, uh, though it's, a, it's a very difficult guess to make where would market make a bottom uh, as there are no great triggers around. Uh, uh, but uh, somebody who had missed out on, on an opportunity in the market and were waiting for this correction, so 12% correction as uh, you were mentioning has, has been a lot of correction and, and price wise for a lot of good stocks it has also resulted in a 20-25% correction. So maybe a couple of uh, percentage points down from here, maybe around 7,800, 7,900 but you wouldn't be able to time it. So I think yes, it, it is a good time to uh, make a shopping list and start nibbling into good quality stocks though in an SIP mode or in a staggered manner.